Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't test me. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men. Braun Strowman. Hey, I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight, then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, but I really like those odds. How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is charity. So good luck, long shot. Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So, how can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you want to guarantee a spot in the money in the bank match? It could lead to you holding a title, which I know you're dying to do so you can shut me up about winning one before you. I don't know. Fine. I'll take your help, but only if I really need it, okay? Now you're thinking like a champion. And I should know, since I am one. Shut up. The war got it! Oh, 
as this last chance fatal four-way elimination match gets underway. You can almost feel the sense of desperation in the air. That's just Saxton trying to line up a date for after the show. Okay, I'm going to ignore that, but what I believe Michael was referring to is the fact that only one of these women will earn the final spot in the upcoming Money in the Bank ladder match. The other three, they'll go home empty-handed. Hurricane Rana! Bailey setting a very good pace now. She's flipped the switch, and the light is on. Hung out to try across the middle row. Leg drop guillotine. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Here she goes, back in the ring now. The fatal four-way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no count outs and no disqualifications. You have four superstars who are throwing down in the ring all at the same time, and they can fight anywhere they want to. It's a mass hysteria. Ooh, well measured. Great offense by Bailey. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Steps to the kidneys. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh, she's leaving the ring. What's going to happen now? Oh, what impact. Bailey is showing she can talk trash and talk with the best of them. Oh, what impact. Oh, targeting the stomach. Thrust to the throat. Oh, he's got him up high. Going for the ride. Big boot. Snapmare. She's got face first. Oh, setting up. Control now. Harsh impact. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. And it's Bailey feeling fired up. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh they crushed inside. In a fatal four-way, the first superstar to get a submission or a pinfall is our winner. And Sonya Deville says, not this time. She just keeps using that. Hey, look, you. She is just dominant right now. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Uh-oh. Inside the ring. Oh, again! It could be over here! This is it! Oh, uh, there's so the elimination. Has been eliminated. Oh, not so fast. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. It's down to the final two. One of these women will go on to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match. It's our Universal Champion, Trey. Uh, this guy's been causing all sorts of trouble lately. He just needs to stay in the back permanently. Red takes advantage. And she wins. Red has earned the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I don't know if I'd use the word earned. She got it by relying on her friend's help. Wait, well, how do we even know she wanted his help? She doesn't look very happy with him right now. Look, I'm not buying it. 
There's no doubt in my mind these two planned this entire thing. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where our general manager is still trying everything he can to get the Universal title off of Trey. This week, Samoa Joe is banned from the arena, so he can't interfere on the champion's behalf again when Trey takes on Braun Strowman. General manager Randy Orton was also not pleased that Trey got involved in Red's last chance Money in the Bank qualifying match. So tonight, Red will take on Bailey in a so-called last, last chance match. The winner will earn the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. After Trey's interference in Red's match last week, this is her final chance to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. How many chances is Red going to receive? It's getting a little ridiculous. To be fair, Red did win the match last week, so if anything, this is really another chance for her to lose something she already had. It's more of a punishment than it is a reward. Whatever you say, Byron. Oh, double axe handle finds the mark. Knee lift. Not looking good right now. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. So ruthless. She's in control. This is unreal strength. The thing about Bailey that really makes the WWE Universe connect with her is that she's living proof that if you follow your dreams, if you just keep grinding, you can make it all happen. From lifelong WWE fan to WWE superstar, uh, that's Bailey. How cute, Byron. We have thousands of wannabe Baileys in attendance tonight, and you just went and encouraged them. Thanks a lot, Saxton. You're welcome. Locks in the gut wrench. All the way up and boom! Big time. Gut buster. A 
quick reversal by Bailey. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Oh! Great offense by Bailey. Head crank. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder. Oh, man. Bailey on the offensive. And it's Bailey feeling fired up. And down. Ooh. And the referee starts his 10 count. Back in from the floor. Ooh, what impact. What do you think Bailey needs to focus on right now? She needs to turn the tide here. Oh my god, this can't bode well. Down with a power bomb. You're gonna be taking that dirt now. I don't believe it. The match is over. Here is your winner, the Queen. Sending a message to the entire locker room with that win. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universe. Introducing the challenger, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman! And introducing the champion from the... With Samoa Joe banned from the arena, what are the odds Trey can hold on to the Universal Championship against the monster among men, Braun Strowman? I'd say not very good at all, but crazier things have happened lately, like Trey winning the Universal Championship in the first place. Guys, enjoy this match while you can because it's the last time you'll be seeing Trey on Monday Night Raw for a very, very long time. Turning the momentum to his favor. He can turn it on in a hurry. Broad reverses. And Strowman hits the running power slam. That might oh, be it for Strowman. Wait, that's Samoa Joe. Since I was banned from the building tonight, I had some rare free time on my hands. So I thought, what should I do? Well, you might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of men's slow pitch softball. And I actually remembered, Braun, that your old man was one of the greatest softball players of all time. In fact,
He hit so many home runs in his day that they called him the Crusher. So I decided to come to your hometown and see the Crusher in action. And he did not disappoint. But now, the game's almost over. I can't wait to meet your dad in the parking lot. I mean, since I got to see what he's capable of with a bat, I figured it's only fair that I show him what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Braun Strowman has seen it up. He's going to try to hunt down Samoa Joe. And he's also going to get counted out. It's all over. Trey wins. You got to be kidding me. Trey has to be the luckiest guy on the planet because yet again he manages to escape with the Universal Championship.